Hi, I'm Mary Caton, a sports writer with the Windsor Star, and we're here today with Jerry Cavanaugh, the head coach of the Windsor Clippers Junior B Lacrosse team. Uh, Jerry, you had a tournament on the weekend, uh, won two out of three games up in Six Nations. Can you tell us a little bit about beyond the W's, what you learned about the team? Uh, we're a pretty young lineup up there. We got a few guys still away at school, a couple of older guys at work. Uh, so I think all in all, it was a pretty good test for, for the younger guys to see where they're at. And, uh, you know, we're expecting pretty good things from this team. And uh, I know you've got uh, one week of training camp behind you. And how much longer will you take before you finally get down to the roster you want to head into the season with? Uh, I spoke to the coaches a lot on the way back from Six Nations. We're looking at trimming the roster down this week uh, to a few players. And we've got another tournament coming in Oakville in two weekends for, you know, get a look, better look at the, get the guys that we're playing to keep. And uh, you were mentioning now, uh, you've known a lot, some of these kids since they were seven years old, you, you know most of them from having coached them at one time or another through the years. How does that help you in this process of shaping your roster now? Uh, you know, I think for the most part, I've, there's only two or three on the team that I haven't coached at some point during their minor career. So I think, you know, the personalities I understand uh, and, and their strengths and weaknesses. So I think it's a, it's a good fit. And uh, so, again, expecting some pretty good things. Makes your job a little easier as opposed to coming in with 30 faces that you don't know and uh, just trying to learn names and positions and everything. Absolutely, yeah. I know, I know kind of what, plus just watching the games from these guys over the last few years, uh, you know, I kind of know what, what each player brings to the table. So Now, uh, Greg Ducharme, he did a, a great job with the team uh, for a number of years. And in fact, last year they set a franchise record, best 16-4, and four, uh, made it to the conference semifinals. Can you tell us, every coach wants to put their own stamp on the team, kind of what we can expect from you? Uh, I think a, a lot of the same. Like, I have a ton of respect for the things Greg did over the years. I mean, 10 or 11 years he was here putting in uh, unaccount, you know, amounts of time and uh, so, you know, we, Andrew Rickman is still on the roster from, or on our coaching staff from last year. So we're going to lean on him pretty early in the season to see what things worked for the season. He's been in this league for a while, so, and what things he thinks we might be able to improve on. But uh, overall, I think, you know, we're not here to, to change the wheel. 16 and 14, they only lost a couple players, so we're going to just try and keep rolling. Yep. And uh, can you tell us, too, I mean, what are some of the uh, different challenges of coaching a junior B team as opposed to some of the minor teams you've handled? With the, with the junior guys, you've got a whole lot of things going on, right? There, there's university guys, there's work, there's a whole bunch of things. So, But I think it's a really dedicated group of guys, you know, so they make sure that they're available for as much as they can and, uh, you know, trying to work their schedules around being, being here. They, they know it's a good group, too, and a lot of it with eight or nine guys in there last year, they want to make something happen and you know, have, a, have a good final year of their junior careers. Absolutely. Well, the uh, regular season opens in a couple of weeks, so we look forward to a lot of success to the Windsor Clippers, and thanks again for joining us today, Jerry. Thanks, Mary.